हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फाइनाइट एलिमेंट कोर्स टुडे इन दिस क्लास वील सी दी डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स विच आर यूज फॉर दी बेंडिंग एनालिसिस ऑफ थीन प्लेट्स इन दी थीन प्लेट थेरीज दीज एलिमेंट्स आर क्लासिफाइड इंटू थ्री कैटेगरीज सेकेंड ऑर्डर कंटिन्यूटी एलिमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सी टू कंटिन्यूटी एलिमेंट देन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर कंटिन्यूटी एलिमेंट विच इज कॉल्ड एज सी वन कंटिन्यूटी एलिमेंट and third is c not continuity element so what are these three continuity elements those we'll discuss today in this lecture so first second order continuity element which is called as c2 continuity element so element in which second order derivative of w are considered as nodal unknowns those elements are called as second order continuity element that is c2 continuity element so in these plate bending elements second order derivative of w are also considered in the nodal displacement or nodal unknowns for example if you look at this rectangular plate bending element at each node whatever nodal unknowns are there if you consider this nodal unknowns as w that is deflection dw by dx and dw by dy these are the bending slopes and then if you consider this second order derivative of w that is twisting rotation d square w by dx dy or d square w by dx square or d square w by dy square if the second order terms are involved in the nodal unknowns then those elements are called as c2 continuity element for example there is one plate bending element suggested by bogner fox and skimit which is also called as bfs plate bending element in this element the authors have considered 16 degrees of freedom in the plate bending element 16 means they have considered 4 degrees of freedom per node so at each node there are 4 degrees of freedom therefore it becomes 16 so which are these 4 degrees of freedom first is w that is deflection then theta x then theta y and then theta xy so these are the four degrees of freedom authors have considered in bfs plate bending element where theta x is equal to dw by dy then theta y equal to dw by dx and theta xy is equal to d square w by dx dy so these are the four degrees of freedom per node of the plate bending element by bfs so because of this d square w by dx dy second order derivative of w is involved bfs plate bending element is a best example of c2 continuity element that is second order derivative of deflection w is involved in the nodal unknowns right so this is c2 continuity element now second is c1 continuity element which is also called as first order continuity element so these are the element in which highest order of derivative of w is 1 that is only first order derivative of w is taken as a nodal unknowns so for example w dw by dx and dw by dy only these three can be taken as a unknowns at a nodes so it means at each node it becomes only 3 degrees of freedom per node so 3 3 3 and 3 total degrees of freedom are 12 so this is called as 12 degree of freedom plate bending element which is suggested by adini clough and melosh which is also called as acm plate bending element with 12 degrees of freedom this is best example of c1 continuity element where 
highest derivative of W is one. That is only first order derivatives of W are involved in the nodal unknowns. So these three degrees of freedom are W, then dW by dx, and dW by dy. These are the three unknown. dW by dx is called as theta y, and dW by dy is called as theta x. So we can take W, theta x, and theta y. These three degrees of freedom per node of the plate. Total degrees of freedom are twelve. That is called as C one continuity element. But there are two important limitations of this element, and first limitation is there is discontinuity of curvature at the corners of this element, and therefore these elements are called as non-conforming elements. So these are the two limitations of C1 continuity element, that is ACM plate bending element with 12 degrees of freedom. And last and third element in plate bending element is C not continuity element. This is called as C not continuity element. These are the elements in which only continuity of nodal variables are to be ensured. Nodal variables. The best example of this element is Kirchhoff's plate bending element or Midlin plate bending element, in which nodal unknowns at the nodes are considered as W. Theta x and theta y, but in this theta x theta y are not dependent quantities on the deflection w. Theta x is not equal to only dw by dy. Theta x and theta y are not dependent on w. So there is only w theta x and theta y are the shear rotations which are independent of the w. So this Midlin plate bending element is best example of C not continuity element, where continuity is ensured only on nodal variables. If you look at the Kirchhoff's previous previous element, this is called as Kirchhoff's bending element. Twelve degrees of freedom. This is Kirchhoff's element, right? Kirchhoff's plate bending element, where 12 degrees of freedom are there, but only one nodal variable that is W and theta x theta y also written in terms of W. But in Midlin plate bending element here, if Kirchhoff's assumption is made during the plate bending analysis, that is previous C1 continuity element, then slopes are independent of deflection, right? So. Hence, W theta x and theta y as nodal unknowns reduces to C not continuity requirement. That is, these three degrees of freedom per node. Total degrees of freedom here are also twelve, but theta x and theta y are not depends on the deflection. So, this is Midlin plate bending element with the is the best example of the C not continuity element. This C not continuity element simplify the finite element analysis, which is more complex in case of C not, C one and C two continuity element, first order and second order continuity element. Compared to these two, C not continuity element is more simple for the finite element analysis. So these are the three elements used in the bending of thin plates. C not continuity element, C one continuity element, and C two continuity element. I hope all of you have understood what are the different types of continuity element used in the bending of thin plates. In the next class, we will see the next article on finite element method. Thank you. Thank you very much.